Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here, and thanks for the opportunity to uh, tell the story of nutrition innovation. Um, we are a uh, food technology company. We create both new food innovative and new food solutions, and also the production methodologies to make those uh, foods. And many of you will have seen in the breakout room that our first product is New Cane, the good sugar. Now, I'm sure many of you are sitting here and saying, good sugar, that must be the world's biggest oxymoron. Let me explain why uh, New Cane is a good sugar. The world urgently needs uh, solutions to the global pandemic of obesity. We've chosen obesity as one of our key areas to focus on. We all know the effects of obesity in terms of type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and McKinsey produced a study uh, about 18 months ago that showed that addressing obesity costs the world about $2 trillion a year, which is 2.8% of global GDP. At our core, the reason we exist, what we do is we make innovative uh, foods and innovative technologies to make them, but our purpose is to make the world a healthier place. And that's why we focused on uh, obesity. So sugar's the problem. Uh, there's a lot of processed, highly processed and refined white carbs that are the problem, but sugar's the real bad boy. And it's white refined sugar that is the baddest of the bad boys. But sugar can be the solution. And here's why. So natural raw sugar cane is very rich in polyphenols. And that can significantly uh, reduce the impact on blood sugar levels in two ways. Firstly, the amount of sugar that's absorbed, the uh, amount of glucose that's absorbed into the bloodstream is reduced. And secondly, the rate at which glucose is absorbed into the bloodstream is significantly reduced. Why hasn't this been done before? The problem is that at a commercial scale, raw sugar is inconsistent, it's hygroscopic, and it's expensive. And the reason it's expensive is if you want to have a consistent product and you want it to be non-hygroscopic, then you have to put a lot of labor and a lot of technology in place. And if you use sugar alternatives, uh, many of them change taste and texture and require new recipes. They impact the costs and, can, and may even not be healthier as solutions. So new cane solves this problem. We're 100% cane sugar, 100% cane sugar, nothing added in. What we do is retain the polyphenols that naturally occur in cane sugar. It's low glycemic index, and it meets World Health Organization standards in the low glycemic index uh, space. It's non-GMO, and it's produced in sugar mills, which means that it's produced very locally to where the cane is grown. With sugar refineries, the sugar cane, when it leaves the mills, can be transported thousands, literally thousands of miles to be refined. And it's a consistent product, which is what makes it appealing to the uh, major food and beverage manufacturers. This is a simple schematic of sugar production. The sugar cane is grown, it's crushed, goes into the primary mill. That's where our technology is installed in order to give this consistent, very narrow specification product. It's based on uh, near infrared sensors and a very powerful algorithm that monitors the sugar as it's being produced uh, 800 times every six seconds. And then the new cane is then sent directly to uh, food and beverage manufacturers and retailers from the sugar mill. So everything you see on the right-hand side of that chart is eliminated. How do we do this? We partner with two major food technology companies, uh, Foss and Schneider. Foss uh, install the hardware and Schneider install the software and keep the algorithms up to date. And then the mills sell direct to brands and uh, to food and beverage manufacturers uh, and retailers. The installation is minimal capex. It improves wheel efficiency because it reduces energy consumption and water consumption. The outcome is a very simple, precise, and automated technology. Our business model is partnerships. We don't produce new cane. We don't sell new cane. We don't distribute new cane. We take a license fee on a dollar per ton basis from the mills. Um, our third global partner is Inerfo, and we're working with them in terms of our global expansion. Uh, they're helping us to prioritise the key markets to go into and prioritise the mills within those markets that are the most appropriate for us. Our lead market so far has been Australia. Uh, that's because our founder, David Kanar, conducted uh, most of the development of research at Monash University in uh, Melbourne. But we're now expanding to other countries and we're in um, active discussions with South Africa, Thailand, Brazil, Malaysia, Indonesia. And as of Tuesday this week, we started discussions with a very large uh, US uh, sugar producer. We've had good publicity in Australia. Um, 
Um, this is the, an article from the uh, Australia's national newspaper, The Australian. Um, and in last month, we had our first consumer product go to market, which is a uh, boutique chocolate, which containing nucane. And if you have time, uh, on our stand in the other room, we have samples of this wonderful chocolate and cookies that my granny made. This is our team, our founder, David Kanar, who's, who's here today. He has 70 food patents to his name and this, in Australia. And there are only two organizations ahead of him. He's, he's the third largest food, food and patent holder in Australia. And the two organizations that are ahead of him are two of the top 10 um, multinationals. Matt Godfrey, uh, he's our CEO based in Singapore. Uh, Matt's also here today. We enticed Matt from um, one of the, he was the CEO of one of the world's largest marketing communications company, uh, highly awarded. I'm based here in, uh, in the USA, I'm based in Venice Beach. And for the last eight years, I've been working with early stage companies. Um, Carolyn is also based in Australia. She handles finance and ops. Andrew Smythe is an expert in tech, and he's our corporate affairs and legal counsel. And Yong Yurt is our man on the ground in Southeast Asia, handling about six markets there. So what's next for us? Um, launching more products in Australia, expanding Nucane globally in conjunction with the NERFO, um, building in the industrial con uh, customer demand, and we've signed NDAs with 50 food and beverage companies, including several of the top 10 food and beverage manufacturers, right through to boutique shops uh, operating in a single market. We're developing new products. We've got six new products that are under development right now, and at the top of that list is sugar reduction. So these are the R&D projects that are underway. Sugar reduction and then replacement, reduced calorie, gastrointestinal health. We've got research underway uh, right now on the prebiotic and probiotic effects of Nucane and Nucane derivatives. Next off the block will be anti-diabetes and anti-inflammatory products. And all of these are derived from sugarcane. So that's it from me. Thank you for your time. I hope you're interested. And if you are, we'd like you to join us. And a good way to start is by sampling the chocolate and the cookies in the next room. Thank you.